Endurance Cup. So there's our first view of Dragon Endurance making its re-entry to planet Earth. Six months in space. is the same stuff that we use in scuba gear. So if you've ever been scuba diving, you yourself have a great image of those drogues deploying. All right, looks like we have two healthy drogues there. And then George is visual on two drogues. Copy, we see the same. Descent rate nominal. And there's your look at Johnson Space Center's mission control. All of those team members monitoring. Uh... There we can see the deployment of those main parachutes. <laughs> the vehicle's velocity is about 119 miles per hour. Yeah, in SpaceX Dragon, we see four chutes, and we could distinctly feel the two disc reefs. It looks like final descent rates. Yeah, that reefing action that you just mentioned uh, playing out right in front of us. Status of the vehicle as well, but again, they don't have to send commands right now. Uh, the vehicle knows exactly what to do. It's full. Once again. All right, as you can see there on your screen. <laughs> Dragon Endurance during Endurance three. Week. Copy, we see the same and main Crew 3 crew has splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida. So right now, Dragon is... On behalf actually, of the entire SpaceX team, welcome home. As you just heard, we got the okay from the teams to begin the approach. Yes, yeah, so that splashdown coming at 9.43 p.m. Pacific. Uh, but approximately 23 and a half hours ago, Dragon autonomously undocked from the space station. And a good look there, those fast boats. Dragon SpaceX, request permission to come on board via display camera view only. Yep, uh, you guys are welcome on board. Copy that and work. In the recovery fleet, and they've moved quickly to the splashdown point. They are being followed tonight by Shannon, the main recovery vessel named after Shannon Walker, NASA astronaut. And that will move uh, into the position upwind of the spacecraft. So here's a good picture of those two fast boats. They both have. Oh, wow, that's a great view. Um, not thermal this time. Beautiful colors there <laughs> with the, uh, the various lights that we have going on. You have a better view. Um, the individual that is actually on Dragon capsule now. That's the person I was just talking about. My heart rate went up a little bit, just envisioning having to do what that person just did oh, <laughs> in, in the seawater at night. Oh man. <laughs> and here we go. Uh, Crew Dragon Endurance being lifted onto the Shannon recovery vessel. Pretty cool view there of the heat shield now that it has been lifted out of the water. You can see the water sloshing around there. That is um, actually where the parachutes deploy from. The main parachutes are located in that bay there under the side hatch. The drogue parachutes are located in the bays above the side hatch. That's a great view, as you mentioned, of the side hatch. So when they place Dragon in the nest, as they're preparing to do now, uh, they will pull it closer to an egress platform because this is significantly high off the ground, maybe 10 feet off the ground. So there's an egress platform that is level with the side hatch. Uh, that way it makes it easier for us to help the crew members um, out of the capsule. Uh, your colleague mentioned it smelled like, oh, here we go, we have movement. Super quick. It looked like the capsule was being hosed down a little bit just to get the, um, some of that salt water out of those bays. Once again, that bay at the top there is where the drogue parachutes are stored. And then the bay at the bottom underneath the side hatch is where the main parachutes were stored. 
So you can see that uh, it's a pretty compact space. You know, it's a, um, the parachutes go through a very thorough and well-checked packing process um, before they are actually stored in those bays. And the person in the middle helping to properly park outside. But it's important to note that Raja, Tom, Kayla, and Matias will be getting assistance from the... Um, you know, nobody slips or anything whenever they are making their way out. There we can see the side hatch is open. Some applause from team members on board. And that's their first friendly face that they've gotten to see in person in six months, aside from their crewmates on the International Space Station. six months in space, all of, the, all of this must feel really weird. We heard him make a joke earlier about the water bottle feeling heavy. <laughs> <laughs> we can see that Commander Rajachari has now egressed the capsule and is making his way onto the rollaway. Looked like we had some thumbs up there just momentarily. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rasha looks to be in good spirits after six months in space. That means our two mission specialists, Matthias Marr and Kayla Barron are still inside and there's Marshburn. Also looks to be in great spirits. Has made her way down Dragon's uh, accessibility slide and is going to be making her way to the medical tents. I think I see a smile on her face. <laughs> we have one more. Now once the recovery vessel uh, and the Dragon capsule get back to the port, the recovery team will perform additional inspections uh, on, on the capsule before um, loading Dragon onto a flatbed truck at the SpaceX facility in Cape Canaveral for post-processing.